people can hold a quorum. You can hold your own meeting. As it should have been the last time we did this. What are you doing? Thank you, sir. I'll be back. Everybody did. Why don't you sit here for a little bit? I see. Merry Christmas to you too. Everybody got somewhere. Come on, sit down there. Pull up a chair. I like you over here. Thank you. 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 Well, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of jumbled up. Uh, you can go by chapter pretty much. It's up. I kind of. I'm gonna check the time. That's not the one that's done. You got a busted leg in this thing. I'm sure. No need to record certain things. I got a busted leg in this thing. It's uh, that's why I came out because it's uh, too loose. Actually, it's first Yeah, I gotta have to maybe tape it in place or something. I didn't go. So we don't need to write the minutes? No. That's why you record it. I'm going to call them in there. All right. They, they can take the recording and do the minutes. All right. Let me call the meeting to order at 539. I mean, uh, 439.
Roll call? No. Okay. Nobody's going to write anything down. We're going to do it off the recording. Chris, are you going to write down anything with call roll? Call roll? All right. I'll tell call president with Jordan. Councilman Jordan. You want to call names? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, as on the agenda we've had, we, we're here to discuss the uh, ordinances coming up with some years ask that we vote on the ordinances on next meeting. We're going to do a two-hour limit of time, which was supposed to be 4.30, 6.30. We'll still honor the 6.30 hour. And uh, we'll discuss, beginning with the number one page, section one there. Okay. I've already done the piece of the guy without a call. And this is going to be just an open discussion about languaging. pages aren't numbered. What's number one page? It's from Roman numeral one. John, can I make a brief statement? Sure. <clears throat> uh, I've read over this and I'm hoping that everybody else kind of read over this ordinance. Uh, I understand it's from some town way off somewhere that all of these ordinances were needed and uh, uh, I, I noticed that uh, for instance, uh, on their animal control, they had 11 pages. That's on chapter 40. Uh, and it, it actually gets into uh, hiring an animal control officer. He has to make certain qualifications. Uh, he has to have a certain facility that is approved by the city council. He is paid by the city council. He rides herd. There, I think that there is, there is, there is a lot of... Uh, I think that most of these ordinances are uh, not fitted to Coffee City. I think that ordinances are just that. They're ordinances and they're created piecemeal uh, as a, as a, on a needed basis. And the reason I'm saying this is because these things are really strange. Uh, they are uh, refusing to let the sale of fireworks, the discharge of fireworks. Um, the dog pound blew me away, but uh, there's uh, a firearm ordinance in here uh, with a thousand foot restriction, which is, what is that, like a fifth of a mile. There's people in this place that, uh, in, in the city limits that own uh, numerous acres that would uh, disqualify them from that. Uh, I could see if somebody was target practicing in the backyard Briarwood Bay. I, I don't, for, for Coffee City as a whole, I don't think these ordinances fit. I think that what Coffee City needs to do is just like we did with the uh, uh, G-Man. We created an a, a ordinance that did just this. It, it protected <coughs> us from somebody trying to abuse the system we set up. We set up a system for a $13 pickup on the garbage, and we knew that that may cause problems down the line. Uh, so we set an ordinance around that to protect the dumping. If someone became disgruntled and didn't want to, you know, buy his, I mean, uh, pay the garbage man to pick up his garbage, we had an ordinance that fit that particular situation that the city council voted on, and that ordinance was needed to keep that from happening. That's how ordinances are formed. You don't, you don't go out to Timbuktu and pick up their ordinances and, and try to make them uh, uh, be in compliance with a city of our size or the way our city's even laid out. Now, I do realize that Briarwood Bay did offer uh, some extenuating circumstances, like, for instance, on firearms. Uh, uh, I think that, and I've been through Briarwood Bay before, and I've been chased by a bunch of big old dogs over there. And I, I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't the uh, Homeowners Association at Briarwood Bay have restrictions set in effect on loose dogs? And if not, maybe we could, maybe this is time to throw this in the trash can and then piecemeal our ordinances together to fit our city, such as if they have a problem with that in Briarwood Bay, can't we say, okay, well you need to keep, if, you, if your area is a 50 foot lot, you cannot have three bulldogs on the front porch 
without having them uh, restrained in some way by a fence or a leash. Because when I let food food out to go to the bathroom in the yard, I'm more worried about a fox eater than it biting somebody, you understand? So we need to have ordinances fitted for this. Some of these ordinances are ridiculous. Um, uh, listen to this one. I don't know if y'all read this. Uh, this is one of the general offenses uh, in chapter 30, if you all follow that. It says, creates by chemical means a noxious and unreasonable odor in a public place. Now, you know, I actually thought ever since 9-11 that this was talking about maybe throwing a canister in City Hall, uh, you know, to poison or maim or kill somebody. Uh, this chemical here, after you read it, it's actually talking about, uh, um, uh, it, it's at, <laughs> let me just say it like this. That you know this gas. It's called hydrogen sulfide. You know, there's another name for it. It's mostly misspelled on the uh, public restroom walls. That's what the hell they're talking about. Now, can you imagine giving somebody a $500 fine for that? I mean, uh, there's other ones on here. It goes down here, and uh, most of these laws are redundant. Uh, it, uh, discharging firearms off a county roadway, that's been a county and a state law before I was born, My we do not need an ordinance, go, uh, you know, going for that. If you look on, on on Title III General Offenses on Chapter 30, if you go down to 30.02 on littering, we have a a complete and thorough uh, uh, ordinance already set forth on disposal of litter. Uh, we have a fine connected to it. Uh, we have uh, uh, we. The police department has uh, agreed to uh, to uphold that law. Now that's the kind of ordinance that we have set forth to fit our city. This is baggage. Mike, let me interject a moment. When we first began doing all this, of course you weren't part of the body here now. When we first started doing this, we accepted Steve's volunteering of bringing about some guidelines to, for us to begin to build off of. That's what Steve's done here. He went out and plagiarized, uh, not Pflugerville, was it Pflugerville? Pflugerville. Pflugerville's ordinances, and my, I have a brother who lives there, but their ordinances give us a go-by to bring some order to some of the issues that, this, that these are addressing. This was not, this was not to be what we're going to vote on like now. The mayor, now we've tried to have some meetings in the past that we didn't have a quorum for. The mayor has challenged us recently in the last meeting that we need to finally get something resolved in this matter. So in his effort to give us some sense of urgency, he's asked us to address this prior to the next meeting or we're going to be voting on this language. Now this is his method of getting us to get moving on this. But the past is past. We cannot go back and make up for the days that we didn't have a quorum. We put you in place here to resolve that problem. Now we have a quorum that we may can rely on, I hope, that we may finally address these issues so that we can meet the timetable that the mayor's put us under. So when we're here tonight, and we just put a two-hour limitation on this, we're going, to hear, we're going to be striking language. We're going to address it to fulfill the needs of, of our local need, of our city here. But we're just looking at this as a, by the way, this possibility there are human beings there too. They John, have the same. Good this? I, I, I have. It's very onerous. It's very aggressive. But this it's, is it, not a template for Coffee City. Well, it is. No part of it. Well, basically, yes. You're still using the English language. You're not speaking Yiddish. And what we're trying to do is is try to go from this point to develop a sense of order within our body of our city. Now, Steve was just basically plagiarizing. I'm, I'm ignorant. What is Yiddish? Yiddish is used to make a uh, a statement to someone who's trying to be insulting someone who's trying to help our city. But back to you. It's it, We're just trying to develop a method in order to bring some order to the chaos that exists, Mike. That's all we're trying to do. So we're not going to, but you still have the word unlawful used in English in Coffee City. That same word's used in Pflugerville. And the same so word is used in our ordinance that was fitted for our city when we made the ordinance surrounding the trash. That is correct, but there's other things besides trash being addressed in these ordinances. And now the ordinance for trash, we've already resolved. I know. But Can I ask one question? Yeah. 
could we, I see your view and I see your view. Could we look at maybe uh, Athens or Frankston's get a copy of each one of theirs? I mean, it's public record, right? Bullard, look at all three of theirs. They're smaller towns. But Lee, let me say, there. let me, uh, and that's, uh, that's I a good understand. point. Some of this language could be used, don't get me wrong, but some of it goes, you know, I agree with you on the car, and I don't want to, you know, shoot a straight dollar or something in my yard and, you know, get a $500 fine or 1000 or whatever because my next door neighbor is less than 1000 Well, feet. according to this, you can't even shoot a gun. Well, I know and that. You can't and shoot see, I, and I don't agree with that. So I'm saying this is not fitted for us. But this is an ordinance that were compiled that. over but many years for you understand what, city. what I'm asking, though? Uh, yes. I'm asking us to look at towns around us that has a similar population versus, <coughs> I don't know what population Fluor is. I'm sure it's more than two or 3,000. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is, get towns that are around us and look at their ordinances and maybe take bits and pieces of the three or four that we've got at hand to give us, a, you know, that we can piece together an outline that works for Coffee City. Yeah, we can't just pull stuff out of the air and say we need to add this and add this. Right, I'm getting the idea that we feel compelled to adopt bits and pieces of ordinance throughout the countryside. When I we don't have decide. to, because our local area. I know uh, it's the same difference, Lee. But what I'm saying is, we don't need to to draft a multiple ordinance document for this city. We don't need it. If if, if something comes up, uh, like if 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 something comes up to where there's a necessity to create an ordinance, that's our business to create that ordinance. It may be too late to try to create an ordinance to, to cover something that's already happened. This we're not looking at like how just to that it, is discharging why ordinances, a firearm. Ordinances or, 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 ordinances, or, 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 ordinances are put into effect. Some of these are gonna be put into effect before they may actually be needed to cover us if something were to happen tomorrow or next month or six Which months. Which one? Now. Give me a for instance. Give me a for instance. Which one would you like to do? Fireworks. You, you mentioned would, fireworks. And you would like to do away with fireworks. I did not say that. Well, that's what this provision in this here. But I didn't, I didn't say it. Mike, for instance, let's imagine we had a hospital built. Mm -hmm. You don't want fireworks going off next to a patient's room. Right. But, John. But what we're trying to get to a point. Well, I, I well once a hospital is built, then perhaps we can look at an ordinance for fireworks. The thing, I think one of the things that Mike is saying that I agree with is when a need arises, then let's let's form an ordinance. I mean, if you want to, we can pass all these and then by gosh, by golly, if we get a sidewalk, then we'll be prepared for it. But until we get a sidewalk, let's, let's only have ordinances that we need. Let's don't cover every single circumstance well, that's ever going to come up like, because like, we can't do that. Yeah. One of the things I saw in the pet ordinance that I liked was if a policeman pulls up at one of the dollar stores or one of the beer stores and somebody's got their car in there and they're inside shopping for an hour or two and it's 100 degrees outside, he's got the ability to give them a ticket. For what? For doing what? For trapping an animal inside of a hot car. That's already I guess covered. I guess y'all didn't read the law. That's already covered. Yeah, I did read that's the ordinances. That's in the 11 pages. I did read through them. I highlighted them. That's in the first 11 pages. Like no, 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 you're yeah, right. You're it's, right. It's, on, it's on It's on. Uh, Title Five. About tethering the animals. animals and right. Yeah, but see, that's already, these are redundant ordinances because the state and the county has those. And we can we can uh, uh, have a police officer to arrest people for that type of violation already. And who's going to get the money off that violation? We will, because we can bring it to this court if we have to. Now, that's what I was saying a while ago. In Briarwood Bay, you you probably got loose dogs, and there's loose dogs down here. We got and a question resolved. I would love to have an ordinance on on you know animals like that are are in a small area that that are apt to bite somebody, but. This almost, it almost looks like the, just like our a litter, a litter ordinance, it, it looks like this ordinance should be designed around the area. Like if you're over in Broadwood Bay, you got 50 foot lots, and if everybody had big old dogs that are unfenced, I could see where that could be a problem, and I would listen to anybody over there that would try to say, you need a fence or you need a leash law here. This let him resolve a concept was just brought forward. The judge put out, it was two or three meetings ago, and, uh, it's not a city ordinance or a city law, it goes to the county or to the state. 
if it's a county ordinance you're enforcing it goes to the county court they get the money do we want to prosecute the, well, I, I don't that, care that's up to y'all what i'm you. saying is if it's not do, our law we but do we it. want to prosecute things that are so extenuating that it might be every four years that somebody left a dog in the car <coughs> I understand. I, I don't care about that. That's up to y'all. You see what I'm saying? I mean, not a city I mean law. if we had a met, big metroplex here or something, and we had constant violations, yes, mm -hmm. let's get an ordinance. Mike, there's one concept that you're overlooking, and I think Ms. Brooks is also overlooking. Yeah. And the con I just want to go over this concept. The concept is a grandfather. If you don't pre-prepare for the problem, the problem can exist, and then you address it, that problem stays. So if you want a strip bar, with people standing outside flaunting themselves in front of everybody driving by, if you're not prepared for that already and they start it, then you say, well, we need to address that. John, that, that, that just happened and it was just shot down by but, county law. Okay, but that's that, I'm just using that as a specific example. You've got grandfathering clause issues that you have to address. So if you don't prepare yourself to stop it before it happens, what happens stays. Now remember that. So we have to concern ourselves with the idea of what if... But you're acting, John, like it's a nuclear bomb blast. I, I, no, 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 I'm not. I think if somebody well, commits an offense with their dog, let's address that issue. If there's more than one complaint with a dog biting somebody, then let's establish an ordinance. Well, all I can say is that is an existing concept that we have to honor. John, it's the grandfather's clause. Do you mind if I interject something? Please, sir. Yeah. I was at the uh, meeting that uh, the city council was considering a uh, animal ordinance and the city council turned it down and then they asked uh, Mr. Gullickson if he would do a nuisance law to cover animals and that's the last that was said about it until you got a stack of ordinances in here. Now the way I would address these issues if, you know, if I was part of it I would take these one issue at a time and I'll try to do a whole stack of ordinances at once because it's just going to be too complicated. That's what I said. You mean we're green on that, right? No. Well, I mean, I agree we have to start somewhere like that. Well, let's but, stop. But we need to start with you. Let's stop and get the answer out of here. I, I uh, interrupted Chris. Chris, you was going to comment on something we made. No, no, no. I, I wasn't trying to comment. <coughs> I just trying to remind y'all the judge said if it's not our ordinance it'll go to the to the county. But how did we shut down the the Because that annexation wasn't actually, in and they were still part of the county. Had, had, uh, they were part of the county and our that ordinance was part of the they are it was too close to a residential area, Mike. Well not only that with the beer store across the street too was it? Was well I'll tell you what I we can we can establish an ordinance around particular things like that that we think will come up, but I don't think that well, we're going to need this phone book here to well, govern our city. But <laughs> let me ask this: Would y'all be more open to the idea if we've got one from Athens or I think it'd be an excellent idea. I, you know, and I agree with you. We need to tell it to our city because this is quite, we can quite quite pick out of there the wording and what we like. And I don't have a problem with that at all. I agree. I think that's an excellent idea. idea. But to take this and stuff this down the citizens' yeah. throat, you're going to have a bunch of people that, mad at you. Mike, it was never designed is. to be that way. Let me yeah. let, oh, this make something. Why was this to us? Because it was just to be the Bible for us to understand something. Well, that started people. somewhere. That's right. But I agree with you that if we selected uh, the complete ordinances from several towns, our size, maybe even 50,000 people larger, and then we hunt and peck through there and found where I only know 50,000 because 50,000 you're probably going to follow the Pluriville population. You're going to get this right here. Well, let's, yeah. let's do Well, there's about two in here that I like. Mike, Mike, let's do something constructive here. Let's just address if y'all want to take this slow and easy, one or two a month, or something of that nature. Let's do this. Let's just make a list of what ordinances would we like to see happen in our city. Just general description, a dog ordinance, a, a pet ordinance, whatever you want to call it. Let's just make a list and take that list and we all on our own account go out and develop whatever information you want to offer back to this body. And from that point, design our own ordinance if we agree that that's something needs to be addressed. Would y'all like to look at it sure. from that standpoint? Sure, and let me ask this question before I forget it, because y'all probably know this. I do not, and it just keeps rolling around in my head. <clears throat> Coffee City is a rural area, just about everything out here. 
at the, other than a few modern subdivisions around here, small ones. And, 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 and like I say, it's an open type city. It's, there's no confinement. Now, when we uh, annexed Briarwood Bay, that uh, that bay offered an entire uh, uh, set of circumstances by itself, such as how tightly fit and how tightly knitted the area is. Um, and I thought to myself, well, maybe we could have an ordinance to where if you had a 50-foot yard and you was your fence was the uh, border between that and the neighbor and there was no fence or there was no fence in the front and a person could be attacked by an animal, could we make a specific ruling in an ordinance governing uh, Briarwood Bay, which is totally different from the rest of the city? And then I thought to myself, well, that would probably not stand up in court. Well, if that won't stand up in court, then there's no way that you could get the residents of Briarwood Bay to continue collecting the homeowners association dues and and, 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 do, and, and not being able to force that on them, then they would not be able to complete their roads, which they're doing one hell of a job over there of completing their roads. Our city does not have the funding to redo the roads in Briarwood Bay. They have the means now and have had for some while. Now, you understand this is a law that they're allowed by, by their bylaws and restrictions that they are allowed to collect homeowners' dues to repair their roads. And I don't know if you've been over there, but they got some good work going on, and I like that. Uh, I'm just saying, and, and, and the, the question here is, can we inflict uh, a pointed ordinance to Briarwood Bay residents because of their uh, confined uh, residents. No, like this is going to be a citywide well, See, that's what's going to cause the problem because well, if you pass an ordinance to confine dogs, uh, the guy over here on the 58 acres, if he wants to let old Blue out on the yard, he can get well, a ticket for that. But you got to understand, none of us are going to agree on that. That's going to be it, a real situation. situation. Uh, the only thing, that, you know, I would like to take, you know, some bits and pieces of pet ordinance that's on here. The one about leaving a pet in a car oh, yeah. on a hot day, or, and there's some other little small things in there. I would like to see, you know, there may be some others that we might can put in. I'd like to see a, you know, sure. there's one there talking about your uh, 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 fence ordinance. Thing. If you don't put up a fence, why not you need to maintain it? And there's there's stuff in this ordinance, you know, talking about it can't go more than what two foot over the property line or two foot off of center. Uh, can't block block a view if it's on a road. I can see that kind of thing. So I, I'm for some of those little small things, but not in the extenuating circumstances this may be. Also yeah. an ordinance for the well, city gives the authority to our police force. Well, that's our another police question. force does not have authority for certain issues that they cannot address because they are other laws. Yeah. Even though it may be a blanketing over to us, we don't have time to call a, a Texas Ranger to come in here to take care of a problem. We have our own city. Uh, enforcement people, so we got to create ordinances for them to use to against whatever problems we may see that we need to develop. But I think we're getting a little bit carried away in our, our overview here. All we need to do is make a list of everything we want to address in our city that we feel like an ordinance is necessary for. There's a number of them in there. I kind of I can give you pretty much an outline on them in about ten minutes. Yeah, we have. Our, um, uh, <sighs> Well, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of jumbled up. Uh, you can go by chapter no, pretty up. much. It's up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check the time. That's, That's not the one that's done. Okay. 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 Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't even talk about talking to him. Because I thought he owned the place up in Missouri. I can't remember. Well, but there's like nine ranges. Uh, uh, well, no, I didn't know that. Is the mayor here? The mayor is here. He's trying to go, but we want him to sit here a second. Call the door? Yeah. Let me get some out of my box. Hey, mayor. Yeah. Good. Good. You forgot? No, I didn't forget. I just got the box time. People can hold a form and can hold your own meeting. As it should have been the last time we did this. What are you doing? Thank you, sir. Right. Yeah.
I'll be back. Everybody did. Why don't you sit here for a little bit? Huh? I see. Merry Christmas to you too. Everybody got some more. Come on, sit down. Pull up chairs. Not like you want to be here. Now we're talking about animal ordinance. You want to make family? I got a busted leg in this thing. I'm sure. I think I got a busted leg in this thing. It's, uh, that's why I came out because it's uh, too loose. Yeah, I'm going to have to maybe tape it in place or something. I didn't go. Really? Are they down here? Please. 